My name is Stephanie LaRue and I'm 31 years old. I live in Los Angeles, California and I've been diagnosed with stage 4 advanced metastatic breast cancer. I feel like I've been waiting, you know, until I turn 30 to get married and have kids and, you know, I was really trying to focus on my career and hold off on doing those things until after I turn 30. I grew up in, in Texas in a very small little Hick town. I guess I am the little country girl. I went to college at Hill Junior, and then after I finished there, I went to Tarleton State University. My, the decision was made to go to those schools because of the rodeo teams. I used to run some barrels with my, my best friend. We used to go on the road quite a bit on the weekends and travel to rodeos. For me to even think about the possibility of having breast cancer at age 30, especially stage four advanced metastatic, is <laughs> that word, breast cancer. At 30 years old, I never, I never thought this would, I never thought it could happen to me because they say, you know, that that's, you're too young. Most young women are told, oh, you don't have to worry about getting mammograms to 40. And the doctors, they have to stop saying that. They have to start testing immediately. They have to do something. I shouldn't have gone as long as I went without having a test done, knowing all the symptoms and signs that I had and the fact that I had something growing. I've met so many other women in their 20s and 30s now that have been told the same exact thing. They were too young to have breast cancer. They have mastitis. I mean, look at you, you're in perfect health and you're too young. So it's just probably some kind of breast infection. The cancer surgeon, he basically gave me a printout for my mother and I as a two-page printout that basically outlines my chances of having breast cancer. I framed it on my wall. <laughs> Guess what? I fell on the, you know, that one percent chance. Basically had to beg for the biopsy. And then Tuesday, I got a call from my doctor's office and it was his assistant and she said, the doctor would like to see you. And so the energized self me, the jolly me that I normally am, I'm just, you know, okay, doc, you know, so-and-so, <laughs> I don't want to say his name. I said, okay, tell me I don't have breast cancer. You know, that's what I thought I was going there to hear. He had his, you know, my pathology report in his hands and he was stacking the papers and, and he says, you know, unfortunately, Stephanie, you do have breast cancer and you have very aggressive breast cancer. And I didn't cry then, like I'm crying now. <laughs> I was very strong and I just sat there. And I think I went into shock because I just kept my smile on my face. And uh, I just went into shock where you don't feel everything. You feel everything, but you don't feel anything. And the fact that I was alone kind of really messed me up a little bit because I didn't have any um, Support. I didn't have my team, my um, I didn't have my mom. And I just couldn't believe what he was telling me. Especially alone. I feel like uh, it's been a six months of hell. Especially going through chemo, the treatment that I was on is toxidere, adromycin, and zytoxin. Because my tumor had grown from two centimeters to almost nine centimeters in a month and a half, it was such an aggressive cancer that they had to hit me with all three of them at the same time, each treatment. And that was horrific. It almost killed me. I had all the symptoms that they talk about, the severe nausea, the severe diarrhea, throwing up. I lost 25 pounds. It put me in the hospital the first time because my white blood cells dropped to zero. It was Christmas Eve, it was Christmas Day. I couldn't have any visitors because of this, the room had to be sterile. And I couldn't walk outside the hallway just to walk down the halls because I couldn't have any, I had no white blood cells. They were zero, so I, it was like, it felt like I was in a bubble. 